never give us an idea <laughs> where we can probably get another dollar. <laughs> Uh, no, thank you very, very much. Uh, it is, of course, uh, a great honor and a great privilege to be here uh, tonight at the launching of Dave's uh, book. Uh, Dave and myself go back a nice little ways where I, I would consider Dave a friend and we were certainly colleagues prior to my retiring uh, from teaching. Uh, we got together at Ascension Collegiate, uh, chased students here and there <laughs> together, so I think we, uh, we earned our scrapes uh, together. Uh, this is my third book launch here, or the Visitor Interpretation Center, our third book launch. And to my mind, that is fantastic, because it shows the great interest that the local people have in preserving the history of our area. Uh, we had Mike Flynn, who was here today, uh, wrote the historic, uh, uh, history of Bay Roberts, titled Historic Bay Roberts, a great read. And I heard that article, too, on Open Line, I, in between uh, painting and, and, and that kind of stuff, and I sat down. But one of the things that uh, Dave mentioned at the end of the show, he asked for a few minutes and put in a plug for his... Uh, friend and colleague Mike, and I thought that was really, really nice too. And I was here for Greta Huzzy's launch on um, fishing on the Labrador in Lear's room. And it just shows you the talent in this area and the interest of our residents who are all about preserving our history. So a hearty congratulations, of course, today for that, and to Mike and to uh, Mrs. Huzzy, who had her book uh, redone. Uh, Open Line and Randy Sims was mentioned, as I said, and I, and I uh, listened to it. And uh, one of the things that tweaked me was Dave's answers. Dave, you did a tremendous job on the radio that morning uh, in answering the questions. Because Mike, had, uh, we served together also on the Heritage Advisory Committee for the town, and he had mentioned to me a number of months back that he was writing a book. And I sort of said to myself, uh, you know, uh, would there be a, a niche for this particular type of uh, book in the uh, province. My wife is Catholic and I'm Protestant, so I know. <laughs> but there's all kinds of rackets there. <laughs> I'm on and joking there, but uh, when I heard uh, Dave on the radio, it really convinced me that there was going to be a great interest in this book. And of course, my understanding is, in talking today, this is only part A, there's part B, there's a sequel, you could say. There is a sequel. <laughs> and uh, so, so that is also something uh, to look for, forward to. And I think, as was said, it's a controversial topic that a lot of people didn't want to touch. Well, Dave, you had the courage to touch it. And uh, it's, uh, it certainly looks and sounds to be a great read. I haven't read it yet because I just picked it up. I wanted to go in here tonight and get a, get a signature on it. And, uh, as he mentions in the uh, closing notes there, uh, he, on his retirement, he plans on doing a nice little bit more writing. And let me tell you, from someone who has retired, there is a great life after retirement. And I think that uh, you will certainly add a lot to it by, by your writing. So uh, uh, congratulations. Uh, I thank Blanker Press for uh, taking on our local authors. You do a tremendous service to Newfoundland and Labrador by helping to preserve our history. And of course, if we get any tax dollars off you, perhaps you'll do a great service. <laughs> but it's great that, uh, great that you found the facility and it's uh, the uh, town, and I know I speak for our former mayor, present mayor on leave, uh, that whichever way that we can get this building in circulation, is a way that we are certainly uh, supportable. So Dave, congratulations my friend, best luck, best of luck with your future. Right? Thank you. Thank you.